it takes a huge amount of dedication to build a program to revitalize an industry for our community. Historically, we were gardeners, we were farmers, we were ranchers. A lot of our ancestors would garden wild foods. Somewhere along the line, we've lost some of those traditions or those traditions were put on the background. We all lived off the land before, instead of, you know, going to the nearest corner store and grabbing something. Yakum Food Hub's going to be a main driver for the economics in our, in our economy here in Lytton. For us, it was very important to really focus in on revitalizing the industry, giving our community members the good, adequate, proper tools to be able to participate. We're hoping that band members with a little bit of land, if they want to produce a garden, will help them get the garden started. And then they can bring their produce into us. Having that food hub allows us to process everything, buy from the community, and keep money circling through to help everyone out. So in the Yakum food processing facility, we'll have the capability to butcher our own meats, the capability to dehydrate foods, flash freeze foods. There's going to be a commercial uh, kitchen in there and a retail store as well. So it'll be a regular stop for community members to be able to, to get the foods that they, that they need and that they crave. This is going to be a food processing area from the uh, garden and the greenhouse. So the food will be bought in and cleaned here and then processed over here. The Yucca Food Hub really provides that opportunity for people to realize that this is a way of life, um, it's sustainable, and it's very rewarding. Our holistic health and wellness is completely tied to food from the land. Having gardens like this really adds to uh, the entire community. We're growing happy plants, but the plants are also helping us stay balanced and I say joyous. It's important to open ourselves up to connect and being a part on the land is very grounding, very healthy. Food sovereignty really helps our people have confidence that we're practicing what our ancestors have done you know, throughout history. Fire's always been a part of our, our community. You know, fire doesn't care whether you're on reserve or you're off reserve. It just doesn't care. You know? And then this year, we had a lightning fire that started right up above Nine Mile, rolled down the hill, took a run towards Lillooet. Yeah. So. Even though we're impacted by the wildfires, but being able to, to harvest the fruits of their labor and sharing it with community members that were in need. So providing foods to our, our relief centers during our times of crisis has really proven to what an asset these folks are. I like to actually grow for the community. It makes me feel really good when I give out food to the elders and to the relief center especially. Mother Nature has proven to us that we cannot take her for granted and that she will challenge us. So really for us to be able to uh, thrive and be able to sustain, then we need to focus on uh, important projects like this one. It's been inspirational um, to, to see how Yuckum Food Hub has moved from a concept, really a dream years ago, to having full-time staff, to having dedicated programming and program managers, and more recently, to witness the groundbreaking and the development of the site for our 10,000 square foot processing facility. Working on the land, being here, and providing food for family is one of the greatest gifts that Yakum Food Hub has provided for the community. I really think it's exciting times for our community to be able to really guide our future and be prosperous in food sustainability.